In Acts 1711 we read, These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. So without further ado, let's look into God's Word, the Bible. Good morning. This is devotional number 497, and today's date is August 21st. We are looking at the subject of faith this week, and particularly the faith of Christ. And in our time together, we want to investigate the following three points. Number one, faith is a work. Number two, Christ did all the work of salvation. And number three, one is saved during the day of salvation by the faith of Christ. We read, for example, in 2 Thessalonians 1.11, Wherefore also we pray always for you, that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of His goodness and the work of faith with power. The question needs to be asked, whose work of faith is it? Can a person's works or efforts make some type of contribution to his eternal salvation? Absolutely not. The answer is very clear from the scriptures, as we read, for example, in Titus 3, 5 through 7. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that being justified by His grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Speaking of man's works, Romans 11:6 adds, "And if it, excuse me, and if by grace, then is it no more of works? Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then is it no more grace? Otherwise, work is no more work." The reason man is incapable of doing anything during the day of salvation to alter his eternal destiny is because he is spiritually dead, as Ephesians 2, 1 to 3 describes. And you, speaking of the, the elect, hath he quickened or made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins, wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation or lifestyle in times past in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others." In an earlier lesson, we concluded that faith is synonymous with the Lord Jesus Christ, who is actually called faithful or full of faith in Revelation 19, 11. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. What was the work of faith, or rather the work of Christ, that he so faithfully performed? Isaiah 53, 11 reveals, He shall see of the travail, or work, of his soul, that is of Christ's soul, God the Father, would see that work and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify which is a word meaning to save many, for he shall bear their iniquities. The travail or work that Christ had to go through in bearing the sins of the elect is or was death and annihilation, as the lamb slain from the foundation of the world, according to Revelation 13, 8. Isaiah 63, 1-5 
also acknowledges that only the Lord Jesus was qualified to atone for the sins of his people. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have trodden the wine press alone. And of the people, there was none with me. For I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments. And I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart. And the year of my redeemed is come. And I looked and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, mine own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury, it upheld me. In John 4.34, we also find this statement, Jesus saith unto them, my meat, or food, is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. His perfect work was completed prior to creation, as I mentioned earlier, and then re-enacted or demonstrated in 33 AD. And while on the cross, he uttered the words that we find in John 19.30. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. What was finished or accomplished had already taken place prior to creation, prior to the foundation of the world, as the lamb slain for the sins of all of the elect. We also read in John 6, 37 to 40, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. Faith is the distinct property of the Savior. It is his personal possession. Keep in mind that Christ obeyed all of God's law in the Bible perfectly, in thought, in word, and in deed as Psalm 47 through 8 indicates. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. John 3, 34 continues, For he whom God hath sent speaketh the words of God. For God giveth not the Spirit by measure, unto him. And Colossians 2, 11 through 12 affirms, in whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God, who hath raised him from the dead. Philippians 3, 9 also asserts, and I'll close with this, and be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith.